My name is Michael Goldberg, and for the past couple of years, I've had the honor and pleasure of being the chairman of the 30th Anniversary Gala. If there's a more well-known or well-respected dentist in the world, I don't know who it would be. But Dr. Gordon Christensen has a reputation that is envied all around the world. He recently led a mission to Israel and delivered a lecture on behalf of DVI. And we thank you for that. Please welcome Dr. Gordon Christensen. What a fantastic pleasure for me to have this opportunity to be with you for just a few moments. I congratulate everyone who has had anything to do with the Trudy Burger Clinic. I had the wonderful opportunity just, I guess it's a couple of weeks ago, first of all, to go through the Taj Mahal of Israel, which is the two tower factory. If you have not been there, it is unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. And secondly, to uh, sit directly uh, adjacent to uh, Mr. Berger and spend the evening speaking with him about uh, his experiences in the Holocaust and his experiences as he watched Israel grow. Unbelievable. I happen to be a, a, a Mormon, a Christian, and uh, I have an experience to tell you that directly relates to the clinic and the service that you render. Uh, my church called me away for two years, just a while ago, to administer a visitor center in Third World, Los Angeles. <laughs> and I, <laughs> my wife and I spent two full years there, and we were in charge of, uh, of, of having about 176 young women missionaries working with us. But the point that uh, impressed me was the interdigitation of the many religions I was able to get there. I got rabbis and priests and born-agains and Muslims and you name it. And I would call them together and say, what is it that your religion really teaches? And several words came out repeatedly. Love, service, family, helping others to achieve the best they can in the world. And the recipient of the award I'm going to be honored to give tonight is exactly that, making the most of whatever you have. I grew up in a family that had very little money, almost no money. In fact, it was a family decision to buy a soft drink from time to time. And going to dental school was beyond belief. I was the first one in an entire family to, I'm family at large, to receive a college education. And uh, as I, I was a janitor as I went through dental school, and I worked in a parking lot and rented Dairy Queen and did those various things. But uh, this last point I made, uh, doing the best you can, uh, I, learned about, I learned about every swear word in, uh, in every language because I worked with these janitors, you know, and they all had a very uh, colorful language. But uh, I, I developed some friends that I still hold very dear to my heart. Uh, as I graduated from dental school, I was sitting in the front row was this group of janitors. And they cried because here was someone who came from an environment similar to theirs and had achieved a dental degree, which was beyond belief. I look at the Jewish religion and I see the, the honorable things that you represent. I went to the University of Southern California to dental school and Alpha Omega was, uh, was very close to me, although I was in another fraternity. Uh, because of the prejudice that was there, what uh, was it been nearly 60 years ago when I started dental school. But uh, I see in, in the Jewish faith so, so many honorable things, and they directly represent the things that were brought out in other religions, the same things I just mentioned a minute ago. And that's what the Trudy, Trudy Burger Clinic really represents, an interdigitation a humanitarian effort that brings together people of all faiths. We're all going to be in the same place in a few years, you know that. We can't agree on who the big man is, but we're going to agree when we get up there. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> there are only three Abrahamic religions. You happen to be Judah, I happen to be Ephraim. You know, there, there, there's a whole group of those people, and we're all going to get together eventually. I know that. I absolutely know that. 
Well, the person I'm to present the award to tonight represents many of the characteristics that I have just discussed with you. Dr. Nidal Alian is a fantastic example of this interfaith interdigitation, as you will soon see. I just met him tonight. I had not had the opportunity to do so for, uh, before. He, just as I, came from a family that had very little money. How many children was it, 13? 13 children. Can you imagine, what did you do, number them? Number one, get over there, do the dishes. Is that right? Unbelievable, 13 children. And I can't imagine how it would be to feed 13 children. He uh, had minimal financial resources, and he was treated in the Trudy Berger Clinic. What year was that? You were seven years old when you were treated there. I can't remember. It would, it would have been 1984. So he, he was a recipient of services in the clinic. Uh, now brings up another word in my mind, and that word is example. Undoubtedly, Nidal saw what happened in that clinic. He saw people donating time, energy, effort, and money from everywhere on the earth to come to the clinic and to help the children of Israel. How helpless are children? Can you remember back when you were a child? Did your family have any money? Mine didn't. Well, a little bit. And when you had a toothache, how was it repaired? I remember uh, my family would scrimp and save to get me in to get, I still have my teeth, but they, they really scrimped to get that done for me because there was no money in that family. And children have no ability to help themselves. Isn't it wonderful to bring together uh, Egyptians and Jews and Muslims and Christians and, and have all that done in a mode that is service and love oriented? Well, Nidal has achieved an admirable goal. He became a dentist, and he had to learn Russian to go to dental school. Is that unbelievable? How would you like to learn Russian? I don't know whether it'd be harder to learn Russian or go to dental school. I think the Russian would probably be harder. <laughs> I'm sure his mother and his father are looking upon him tonight with great admiration. I, I feel the same way as my mother and father looked at me as I received an award or two some years ago from the other world. And I congratulate him very much for what he has done as his service in the clinic has been for four years. And uh, he has been admirably serving there. And it is now my pleasure and my honor on behalf of DBI to present this distinct, distinguished volunteer award to Nidal Alian. It's a great pleasure for me to be here with you tonight. My story with DVI began in 1984, when I went for the first time to the clinic for treatment because I was suffering from acute dental pains. I, like most children, was forming a bad opinions about dentists. <laughs> I was very scared of dentists and injections. Contrary to my expectations and fears, DVI dentists were so helpful and so kind to me. They were very concerned with, very concerned with me personally. They inquired about me and rewarded me with a gift they brought from abroad to Israel. I had a feeling of comfort instead of fear. Dentist smiles and kindness made my pains subside. They provided a remarkable treatment, which I later found was a profound difference. I'm Nidal Alayan. I was born in Jerusalem in 1976. I grew up in a family of 13. Most of them did not have the chance to pursue their education. My father could not afford the proper dental treatment for all, fam for all family members. I was fortunate to go to DVI clinic. I think thousands of needy children in Jerusalem have been lucky that such clinic exist. DVI give me hope 
I had the desire, the perseverance, and worked hard. I will never forget Ziva's kindness. I still remember when she insisted that I should return to receive dental treatment. My brothers were also welcome in the clinic. They received dental treatment too. Receiving good treatment and the kindness of highly qualified dentists in the DVI clinic made me dream to be a dentist. As you all know, dental pains are obstacles to work, study, and success. Many needy children in Jerusalem do not have the opportunity to progress in their lives because of the dental pains. DVI provides quality dental care to those children. My brother, Dr. Bilal Alayan, and I are two examples of the success and credibility of DVI. My brother and I were fortunate to pursue our education, and now we have made progress in our lives. My brother is a general surgeon in Hadassah Mount Scobus Hospital. He is specializing in, 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 in surgical oncology now. As for me, I have been a dentist since 2001. I truly believe that our dreams would not have come true without DVI. I have been volunteering for DVI since 2006 because, I'd, because I had a desire to volunteer to treat children with kindness and compassion and to offer help to this great dental organization. In DVI clinic, I still learn new things which can be helpful in my careers as a dentist. I also meet highly qualified and experienced dentists from around the world. On the 30th anniversary of DVI, I would like to say that DVI is an example of giving and helpfulness. Being involved with this organization, DVI, is something that my parents would very much approve of. I wish that my father would have been able to see the success of my brother and I. I had very high, uh, he had very high expectations for his children and was disappointed if we didn't achieve. He passed away from cancer at a young age in 1994 and was not able to witness our success. I know he would be proud today. My mother was such a wonderful lady. My mother was such a wonderful lady that my two-year-old daughter shared, shares her name. I feel rewarded that she was able to see some of the accomplishments that we made before she passed away from cancer in 2005. She was so proud when I opened my first clinic that she bought my first chair as a gift. Believing in the goals of the DVI, I work hard to make change in the society and to make Jerusalem, in particular, a better place for all. We, in the DVI clinic, treat children of all religious and ethnic backgrounds. We treat Arabs, Jews, Russians, and Christians equally. We get support and power from you, dentists and friends of the DVI from around the globe. Keep up your great work. We deeply appreciate what you have done and what you are still doing to help Jerusalem needy children. And I'm sure that my mother and father looking down and smiling at the kindness that is at work every day because of all of you. Together and side by side, we will be able to make those needy children happy and productive. Thank you to everyone.